Whenever we are on our way, a smile and a giggle on my face are raised. I could again play and pray, yay! Sundays has always been my favorite day. I love seeing our children, especially my friends. We we'll listen to our teachers, but sometimes just pretending. But there's this guy I don't like looking at. He's scary, very tall, and often shout at people. As I grow up, I notice that he's not really that bad. Although I'm still doubting about his face, he's mad. They always tell us when we're naughty and defiant. We will report you to pastor, do you want? When we're at school, he would suddenly show. My teacher would say, Good morning! In one, two, three, go! But one time, I stood tall and boldly said, No! The tall guy suddenly came to me, smiled and said, Hello! Looking at him, I realized, Maybe they're right. Maybe our pastor is just alright. One afternoon, when my graduation ended, Pastor approached me, smiled, and said, Congratulations, Anna. Always trust in the Lord in all you do. Since then, those words that Pastor said have always pushed me through. When Pastor knew that I had a part in the Church of Timothy, he told me, Thank you, Naka. Always continue in the ministry. For that reminder, Pastor, I thank you a ton. I appreciate you for the encouragement to always keep on. Around this age, I now know that not just in the emotional aspects he wants me to grow, he wants me to have a deeper faith in God our Savior and to see that serving is to glorify God and not for man's favor. During every preaching, he always highlights that we are not of the world and that we must be its salt and light. He always warns us using the word of God. Remember, in the academy, he even used the disciplining run. He tells us that we are missionaries of our own schools and colleges. Our friends, teachers, classmates, and acquaintances must get to know God's plan of salvation and His sure promises. Now I've reached this time of my life where I have my own responsibilities. Work, family, and I've come to know who Judith is. Yes, I admit. It's really difficult to balance church and other career opportunities. Despite my busy schedule, Pastor wants me to recall my real priorities. Of course, that is to be faithful to God and in my church ministries. I will never forget the first time I had a personal talk with Pastor, our minister. I was at the crossroad of decision whether I will commit my life as a full-time worker. His advice was priceless and even until now I still treasure it so I thank God for using our pastor to make the right judgment Happy birthday!